Hello everyone, welcome to our first podcast ever, Psychosis. I'm your host, Psychotic Jex here. And with us tonight is Mott. What's up? And Nightwolf. But he will be joining us later because he has to do a few things. So whatever. Whatever. Alright, on our little list of topics to talk about today... Uh, we're going to do our introduction, who we are, you know, what do we do, and all that jazz. Uh, we're going to talk about Connect, even though it's been out for a week or so. Um, Black Ops, now that that's out, and what our thoughts are. Assassin's Creed, what we're looking forward to. And, if all else fails, some topics around the world or in the news that pique our interest. So, introduction. Um, for those of you who already know, I have... My YouTube channel is pretty much video game walkthroughs or or some fun, some videos of me and my friends just having a good time playing video games. That's really all it is. But at the same time, you know, some FAQs because, you know, there are some video games on there that I really don't see a lot of playthroughs or walkthroughs. And it's like, you know what? I could put in some of these videos. I mean, what's not one more video on YouTube anyway? You never know. Uh, this podcast, uh, Psychosis, this is pretty much where me and a bunch of my friends, we all come together and we just talk about, you know, the latest video game news or we just BS around, you know, all that jazz. And that's pretty much it for the introduction. Mots, anything you would like to say? Um... Not much. I just, uh, first, first computer games are a preference. Yeah. Uh, I don't really make, I don't really make videos, <coughs> videos of myself, I put them on YouTube, but, uh, not a lot of friends that take some videos. Yeah, I uh, do. Go ahead. Most of the people in my videos, most of the cast, most of the people in my videos are usually my cast members that I play with. So, if you see them around, hey, you never know. I know there's a few cast members who do make videos like uh, Baby Girl, uh, Parasite, Friggins, who else? Those are the only, uh, Griff, not Red vs. Blue Griff, our, our friend Griff. And that's pretty much it, those are the only ones I can think of, but check out my, ch uh, check, you know, whatever, I can't, I can't think right now. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, again, Nightwolf's not here, but you've seen him in my videos, and he's an insane son of a bitch. But... That he is. That he is. But unfortunately, he's not here to, again, talk, but he's in the chat, so somehow, whatever. Alright. Connect. What do we think about it? Have you played him um, on? No, I haven't played on it, but I read about it in uh, Game Informer. And okay. Apparently... It recognizes different individuals by their skeletal, skeletal structure. I find it's pretty badass. Okay. Well, I know Knight has it, and I was hoping we get his opinion on it, but uh, he's not here to talk about. It, but we might just come back to it. But Carbon's got it too. But she's not in here neither. That's the yeah. thing. So let's see what else. All right. Well, we'll come back to our connect. What do you think about the update on Xbox Live? The new update on it. What do you think about that, Mods? Um, I think the mic system, it like sounds kind of retarded, but I think it picks up a lot easier than what it used to. You're kind of breaking. I don't have to talk so loud to get into it. You're breaking up a little bit, man. Sorry. Um, I think the uh, the mic sensitivity is pretty good. You know, I have to talk into it as well, but it. It made it all weird sound like everybody's robots now. <laughs> everybody's got like a robot kind of tone to their voice. <laughs> We're you know, all robots. Like dashboard goes, it's all right. Uh, I just prefer to not have the sounds. You know, you when you go to send a message to someone, you're sending a text. It beeps at every letter that you go by. I kind of find it annoying. But, I mean, it seems to run a little smoother than what the uh, other one did. Really, the the only thing. The only thing that, for me, that I like is 
now that you know how much points you have, like you can actually go to like your profile and it will show you how many points you have. That's the only thing I really like about it. The color scheme wise, I thought they could do a little better or at least darken the white because it is it, it really hurts my eyes and it's really bright and yeah man yeah that's that's really the only thing I can that's the only thing I like that I can now know how many points I have or if I need to go buy more and all that jazz but other than that though that's pretty much it all right next topic black ops uh, I kind of want more than one person's opinion on here, so we'll come back to that. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. What do we think about it? Mots, go for it. Um, I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, I haven't played it, obviously. Um, it seems to have a well, great storyline. Well, it hasn't come out yet. Well, it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, I know. But um, the first and second one seem to have an awesome storyline. I mean, the gameplay's kind of linear. You know, you don't really get to do a whole lot of options, but that's what some people like. Some people it's like, we're, we're told to do, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. And it's not like games like Table where you have, like, all these different kinds of stuff that you can do. And you can pretty much play the game forever. And, like, WoW and stuff like that. Some people just like the, like the game where you just, just go down a straight path and it doesn't take forever to... Watch, you're breaking up too much, dude. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can adjust your mic or something. Do I just right. keep cutting in and out, or... It just fade in and out. It just it it keeps chopping your word, words up. Well, I guess we can actually add this to our topic. Fable 3. Mots, you have it. Take it away. Uh, can you hear me better now? Yeah. Well, can, no, I better. can I try and talk a right. little bit slower? Because I think your mic is just not reading, catching up with the speed you're talking at. So. Yeah. Is it a little, a little better now? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I just turned the microphone uh, definition down so It'll catch it a little better. Can you hear me better, though? Yeah. All right. Uh, Fable 3, it's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of a lot of quests to do. It's pretty much like an MMO. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's like really an MMO. I'd say it's more like an RPG. But uh, it's great with the weapons, what they did. Um, you do certain quests uh, for your weapon. You can upgrade it, like add fire damage to it by killing like, 100 guys with fireballs. Stuff like that, or killing a hundred hollow men, like you kill them, and uh, your weapon transforms. You have like a like a maul, like a hammer. You get uh, sometimes, depending on the maul that you use, you get like a spike on the end, or if you have the one where it upgrades to, uh, with the fireball, it starts flaming and stuff. It's pretty cool. And uh, I got a little. Assassination kind of things. Not like an Halo where you come up behind it and get a kill him that way, but you just like swing the hammer like a certain way and uh, do it at a right time and you get a, do like an instant kill kind of hit the person. Or, like smacks him in the head pretty good. Kind of funny. So, uh, so just, what makes ahead. it. What were some of the things that, like in Fable 2, if you had a, something wrong with it, did Fable 3 fix it for you? Um, uh, can't really, I don't really think so, I mean, it's just a little, little bit better, like, the story from two to three, you know, two, they're little kids, and three, you're, you're the grown-up guys now, and, uh, I don't really think there's that much of a change between the second one and the third one, nothing, nothing crazy, well, now in the third one, you can, uh, have orgies, yes, orgies, sexual multiple. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto where the camera's outside and you just hear him go at it or whatever. Yeah, you can have a, a, a lot of people in the bed. There's even a quest for some of the weapons. And, uh, to upgrade it, you have to have an orgy with at least four other people. 
So, yeah, it can be uh, kind of crazy. There's even prostitution you can just pay to have sex with. You can get married, buy a house, you can uh, rent out houses, you can buy shops. You can buy shops and get a discounted rate at the shop and uh, <clears throat> make money. Um, the money scale, like when you're buying shops or renting out houses, is based on a five minute basis. So every five minutes, you're getting the uh, X amount of money for either the shop or the house. And you can adjust the rate at which you charge by uh, just going to the little, the little title thing right in front of the building. If you adjust it higher, that means people aren't going to like you as much. If you go down lower, that means you're going to like it better. So you're not going to make it. Now, uh, you get a dog, too, and he's like your companion. He kind of points out treasure, and you uh, just dig up spots to find other treasure. Like, digging up stuff, you really don't find a whole lot of useful things. But, uh... There are a lot of trade things and some things that you can sell from. But, uh, the game is pretty much uh, when you get past like the first 10 quests or so, the whole game starts revolving around money. The more money you got, the better off you're going to be. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So, wh- who would you recommend the game to besides those who've been with the Fable franchise? Um, anyone that's like looking for an adventure kind of thing, if you've ever played Zelda and you like Zelda kind of games, that's pretty much what I think Fable is. It's like an upgraded version of Zelda. It's like a, pretty much like, yeah, pretty much like the same kind of game. If you like Zelda from the Nintendo 64. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hmm. All right. Next item on the list. Topics that pique our interest. You have anything that ha- that caught your attention, Mots? Uh, with the media, uh, uh, I don't really watch too much of the news. But, uh, Marine Corps ball was yesterday. And that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I really don't watch too much of the news. Really to... yeah. Alright, so what Yeah, apparently. Wife was watching. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Knight still isn't here, so I guess I could talk Black Ops a little bit as best as, as good as I can. So, Black Ops is by far better than Modern Warfare 2, and in a way, Halo Reach. When I got it, when I played the game for the first time, when I got it at the midnight release, I was really amazed on how so well finished. I mean, this is where Modern Warfare 2 really failed because it, to me, the game it was over, Modern Warfare 2 was way overhyped. It was just way overhyped, and the game itself at first it was fun, but then like maybe. Three months later, it just blew. It's it was just one of those games like it's no fun anymore. Yeah, no. Black Ops, this Black Ops makes up for what Modern Warfare Two screwed up, and Treyarch really, really, really listened to the community, to their community, and to Modern Warfare to to Modern Warfare's community to see what they can fix. The campaign, like, going to the campaign, it is beautifully done. Beautifully, beautifully done. And I was so amazed on, like, how well thought and how much hard work was put into it. I mean, the campaign is by far amazing. It's very graphic, but the story is amazing. The Voice actors did an amazing job. I was pretty sold. I mean, Modern Warfare 2's campaign, no. It sucked. Uh, let's see. The zombie mode, I love. I totally love. Especially with the one zombie mode where you get to play as President Kennedy. 